hey, this is digital byte computing. So in the storage tab, you've got a few options here. You've got your shared folders, your LUNs, your virtual tape, your storage configuration, your data migration. So LUNs have to be assigned to a storage, uh, a storage pool and then assigned to a storage group. So let's go to storage configuration. So storage pools for file, storage pools for, uh, for block, okay? For file, uh, you can create pools for file and then add NFS or SIFS shares or SMB shares into your storage pools for file. You've also got storage pools for, um, for your block. You can create pools or RAID groups. RAID groups are pretty much on the way out when it comes to um, VNX units. Um, you're generally managing pools, which are essentially more complicated, more smart uh, RAID groups, can contain multiple RAID groups, that sort of thing as well. Has more failover, those sort of things as well. So I would generally recommend using pools over RAID groups in this instance. Okay, so what you do is you firstly you'd create a pool, And once that pops up, it'll ask you for some information. So this information is, firstly, we're selecting the pool type. Is it gonna be a pool or a RAID group? We're saying that we're gonna use pool. You can do schedule auto tiering. So auto tiering is if you have um, fast disks, slower disks, and then even slower disks, it'll automatically tier um, your pool to use faster disk by default when your LUN or whether you know whether your virtual machines, for example, need it, it'll use those faster disks when it needs it. When it doesn't need it, it'll move it to slower disks, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You can manage things like your performance types. Okay, so this is where you can actually customize your RAID groups. Uh, you can create different performance capacity, uh, what sort of RAID, four plus one, eight plus one. Uh, so this is a RAID five. Again, we're not gonna go into the differences of RAID, but you've got RAID 10, RAID 5, and RAID 6. Uh, RAID 10, which is a combination of RAID 0 and RAID 1. RAID 5, you got the one redundancy on your disk, and RAID 6 has two redundancies on the disk. You can assign a number of SAS disks as well, how many you want to assign. And then in extreme performance, how many flash disks do you want to assign in this particular um, uh, tier, all right? Then you can add your disks. You can automatically add the disks from here, or you can manually go select and add the disks that you want to be added to your storage pool. In the advanced tab, you can add some things like description. Um, you can add your thresholds. So when you reach a particular threshold, um, you can be alerted, all right? So if your pool gets up to 70%, 80%, etc., it will send you a warning letting you know you've hit your threshold. Okay, then you got things like fast cache where you have you can actually define your cache using, for example, your flash disks, um, and that will contain all of your cache information as well. And your snapshotting things automatically delete old snapshots if you need to, if you need be. Uh, but we're not going to go too much into the snapshotting, but you can do all the snapshotting across your LUNs and across your pools as well, and automatically delete old snapshots if you need to. Okay, so back to the, our general tab, let's just uh. Uh, well, uh, yeah, we'll leave that ticked and let's just call it, we'll leave it as pool zero. And okay. Uh, initiate creative pool. Yes. And that is now going to create my storage pool. So this is just a pool. Essentially, it's just a container that will house all of your LUNs. Okay. So your LUNs will comply with these RAID groups that we've set up. Okay. So you can't really use this pool until you assign some LUNs to it, and then in turn you assign it to a storage group. So if we just go back to our storage configuration, all right, so we just assigned a storage pool, as we said. Let's go back into storage. Now we can go into LUNs. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can go into LUNs and actually create the LUN from here, or you can go into storage configuration and into storage pool and then right click on your pool itself and you can create LUN from here. You can do things like deleting, you can see the properties of your pool as well. So for the exercise, let's just go create LUN. Uh, as I said, you can do it from the other section and you, all you'll have to do is just select which pool you're going to put it in. All right, so we've gone create LUN. What is the rate type gonna be? So this is gonna be mixed tier. That is because when we created our pool, 
we assign different raid groups, okay? Storage pool, new ID, okay? Which pool do you wanna add it in? In this case, because there's only one pool, we're only adding it to one, well, it's the only pool that's available to us. Whether you want that LUN to be thin or thick provisioned. If it's not ticked, it will be thick provisioned. So you give it 10 gig and it'll use 10 gig. If you give it thin and you say 10, uh, it'll only use um, the amount that's needed, essentially. We're not gonna go into the specifics of thin and thick, but the option is there if you need to. So let's just create a 100 gig LUN, leaving the LUN ID as four. You can actually create the LUN ID, whatever ID you want. Essentially, it's just the number that you're gonna use for that ID. And there's a cool feature we can actually ask, how many LUNs do you wanna create? You can actually say, I wanna create, uh, let's just go, we're gonna create 10 here, okay? You can give the LUN a name or automatically assign LUN IDs. I like to give it a name, so let's just call it VM primary and starting ID will be 01, okay? So if all things are good, advanced, you can actually uh, also add it to a um, particular storage processor itself. So you've got A or B for redundancy reasons, or it can automatically add it to a particular storage processor as it needs. Are you gonna have fast, because we did configure it, we'll leave it as start then high, high then auto tier, and then are you gonna do snapshots automatically, delete, older, etc. Okay, so let's just go apply. And what this will do, this is gonna give us a warning, are you sure? Yes, we are sure. And that will now go and create 10 LUNs of 100 gig each. So we'll give you a summary, 10 have been created, okay. So I can now just cancel out of here. And now you'll see that when I select my pool, I have all my 10 LUNs here. Okay, you can also see these LUNs by going into storage and into LUNs and you'll have them listed here. So these are the 10 LUNs that we created. They're part of pool zero, which is the storage pool. They're 100 gig each and these are the processes that are managing it. So you'll see it's automatically gone and assigned it a particular B or A depending on you know the, the number. So it's gone five and five. You've got your unique ID as well, which is the ID for that particular LUN. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a whole bunch of more videos.